What's up TNA fans, this is Nick here and I'm going to be doing a TNA Impact Wrestling Review for the 16th of the 8th, 2012. Match number one was a Bound for Glory Series match and was Samoa Joe vs Magnus. Full Bound for Glory Series match won by Joe after rolling Magnus up in the cradle to gain 7 points in the Bound for Glory Series. Cool match that was guys, between two former tag team partners. Match number two was a Bound for Glory series match and was Christopher Daniels versus AJ Styles. Hard fought match won by AJ after a payday kick on Daniels to gain 7 points in the Bound for Glory series and earned the right to take a paternity test to determine if he's the father to Claire's baby or not. Another exciting Bound for Glory series match that was guys. AJ winning. Match number 3 was the TNA Knockouts Championship and was Madison Rain the new champion versus Miss Testmarker. And the guest referee in this match was Taryn Terrell, aka Tiffany from WWE fame. Average Hardcore Justice rematch for the TNA Knockouts title and was won by Testmarker to regain the championship after nailing Rain with her panted Test Shocker. Uh, Cool match, but as I say, as I say it's average. Uh, and Test Marker reclaimed the title. Good move, to, you know, for making that happen. Match number four now, guys, was the final Bound for Glory series match of the night, and the main event of the evening was Billy Ray versus Jeff Hardy. Epic main event won by Hardy after a twist of fate and a roll up on the bully to gain 7 points in the Bound for Glory series. James Storm then came to the ring after and attempted to last call Bully Ray but instead accidentally hit Jeff Hardy. Then the Aces and Eights came into the ring seemingly to celebrate with Storm. But in a shocking turn of events they ended up attacking Storm. And this now leaves a burning question. Now it's not Storm. Who is the lead uh, and mastermind behind the Aces and Eight attacks? Have a suspicion that it's Bully Ray, because he does like to throw his weight about in TNA and bully people. Be interesting to see if Bully Ray gets unveiled as the mastermind of the Aces and Eight attacks. Would make sense if that happened because Bully Ray does like to bully people. Yeah, guys, that's my TNA Impact Wrestling review for the 16th of the 8th, 2012. Hope you enjoy it, guys, okay? And uh, do subscribe to my channel soon. Tell me what you think of Impact Wrestling, okay? And uh, if you think you know who's behind the 80s and 8s attacks, please let me know, as we all know now that it's not James Storm, as he got attacked by the Aces and Knights. Uh, video response me, tell me, okay? Bye.